What is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last episode we came to Agate Village, explored the whole place and met Egan who used to be one of the strongest trainers in the world and he told us to meet him at Relic Stone which is literally just through here so let's go through here. Ah you must be Volti that Egan was talking about. Yes I must be. I've heard that you battled to open the hearts of Shadow Pokemon. The Relic is through this cave. Don't give up. I won't give up. So in today's episode, we're going to be using Flareon and Puccina because Puccina needs to be purified. Okay, then let's get with it. So we're going to have to battle a few guys, it seems. Cool trainer, Gorps. <laughs> Gorps. What is up with the weird names in this game? Cool trainer, Gorps. That is that's probably the weirdest name I've seen so far. Right, so Puccina's got a full uh, Shadow Gauge. Oh, no, it hasn't. Yeah, it almost full anyway. Which just went down quite a bit from starting the battle. That was... Actually, quite a lot. So let's take out the normal first, because that could be a big pain. We've got Poison Fang, which is not actually bad. Well, it would be better for a 6th generation, because considering Fairy type, but as it is generation 3, no Fairy types, which a little bit sad. Which really, really makes me wish that there was a Pokemon game like this on uh, the Wii U. That would be so good. It, it really would. Because in my opinion, Gale of Darkness, this game so far, is actually pretty fun. And Colosseum was really good. I mean, the characters and the names and all that are a bit weird at times, but I mean, they could probably fix it with a new version if they ever do make one. And our attack's gonna fall down. That sucks a little bit. Uh, let's just bite you and then Shadow Blitz the Zigzagoon one more time. Hopefully, take them both out. I think the Zigzagoon might live it just because the uh, the attack decrease. But we'll see. Come on, Bugina, you can do it, buddy. Now you're lower lowering my defense. That's just uh, that's just perfect. Thanks for that, buddy. Nice, taking it out. So is Gorp's gonna fall to the floor like every single other trainer we've beaten? Wow, well, yeah, that was something. So far, the uh, the guy from last episode literally just looked like he got knocked out. He, he is the best losing, uh, <laughs> losing four, I think. Voltsy, aren't you? Uh, I heard of, about you from Egan. Let's battle right away. Okay, here we go. So it looks like at least two more battles. Super Trainer Joel's would like to battle. Got a Snubble and a Crawfish. I really like Crawfish. I don't like Crawdon, but I think Crawfish looks really cool. Just don't like Crawdon gaining the uh, the dark type, but Crawfish is a pretty cool guy. Let's uh, take him out first. Let's go for Shadow Blitz. Oh, nice one hit. So I'm guessing once we beat Egan, we can start purifying some Pokémon at the relics, which we could do Ladybug and Teddy Earth, and hopefully by the time we get to him, Puccina will have a uh, completed Shadow Gauge. Critical hit, super effective, that is very nice. If we can like get three purified Pokemon to start off, that would be just perfect. But I doubt we'll be finding any shadow Pokemon in uh Agate Village just because everyone is, you know, about the purifying. Unless Team Cypher come. Like I remember on Colosseum we caught a Hitmon top, I think it was, at the Relic Stone. Two trainers down, looks like one more to go. Handed the loss, yes. Wasn't that a good battle? Uh yeah, sure, it was it was okay. Can I get the item first? No, I can't. Well well, let this old woman come to the aid of pitiful Pokemon. Are you ready to begin? Yes I am. I wonder how our battle will turn out. I'm eager to find out. This old lady's a little bit creepy. <laughs> that name's Lady. Kekmia and a Slugma. You've got a pretty decent team. I like that. I don't know, I really like the look of Slugma. I mean, it's not my favorite Pokemon, but just the um, the way kind of the coloring of it, I guess. Like, it looks really good on um, a Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Just take out the Cacnea first, but 
This is the glow of it, I guess I should say. In my opinion, it looks really cool. And it live with a little bit of HP, but the Shadow Blitz should finish it off. Just do not go into revenge mode, that would... That would suck. Oh, Ember. If only my Flareon could learn Ember. Well, have it right now. I really need a fire type move, it would be so good. Might get to level 14 beating this, so who knows, might learn one in a second. Oh, so close. And we're re re I said revenge mode, didn't I? I meant reverse mode. Oh, I was thinking of something completely different. My, you are impressive. That Pokemon should uh, soon open its heart to you. Oh yes, I should tell you this useful bit of information. I hear that if a Pokemon has a closed heart, it's good to keep it with you. Rather than keep it in the PC storage system, you should keep it with you at all times. And a burn heal, got two of them. And now we gotta battle this dude. I'm gonna quickly use a potion before we uh, do anything else. Taking a little bit of damage. Oh, I won't accept if it's in reverse mode. Oh wow, okay. That sucks. At times an ordinary old man, at others a plain senior citizen. But my true identity, the legendary trainer Egan, beat me. But only him, I'm Kron. Now now, for the sake of your shadow Pokemon, we shall have a hot battle. Bring it on, I don't know who Kron is. Was he from Pokemon Coliseum? Because I... I don't remember him. Only beat by uh, Egan. Haha. So this if like if they actually made like, another game after this, they could have done a really cool thing with like um like a prequel, I guess you could say, like a uh, Egan being um the protagonist. That'd, that'd have been so cool. And then we're called Puccina. It's got two bars left. Well, two and a little teeny bit. This bite should easily kill Abra in one hit. Oh, went for Horsey. Oops. But still killed in one hit anyway. And now we're level 14. Learn Ember. Anything? Haha, <laughs> still nothing. That Shroomish. If we learn Ember just then, that would be so great. Just kill that Shroomish so easy. Ice Punch? Oh, wow. Oh, 1 HP. Oh, that's insane. I did not know a um, Abra could learn Ice Punch. I really did not know that. Don't know why you'd want to learn uh, or teach it Ice Punch, but still. <laughs> did not know that. <laughs> eh, goodbye, Abra. Don't hit Puccina, don't hit Puccina. Good. That yeah, way better does anything to my, uh, uh let's say Umbreon, my Flareon. Let's go for Shadow Blitz. Oh, Shadow Blitz, finish it off. You can do it. Oh, so close. I swear the Shadow moves are, like super effective against everything. Oh, I'm asleep because of Spore. Damn it, Shroomish. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> Shroomish got the funniest run ever. Oh my god. And now it's defeated. So we're gonna head to the Relic Stone and we can purify Ladybar and Teddy Ursa. Unfortunately, Pugino won't be able to get purified just yet. It just amazes me to see that Shadow Pokemon have appeared again. It's a sad world we live in. Here's a little something that may hasten how quickly Shadow Pokemon open their hearts to you. Oh, I swear there's the thing you got on um, Colosseum as well. Yeah, the, the things. Toilet scented uh, Colosseum Massage helps open the hearts of Pokemon. Rub down your Pokemon gently when you use that. Okay, soaky dokey. I'm going to quickly see if I've got any... No, i got nothing to wake it up. Just going to have to keep using it until it wakes itself up. Boltsy, welcome. 
Your shadow Pokemon should be ready to open its heart after the battles you've waged getting here. Now I shall be your opponent, and here's my partner, the one Pokemon that I caught at as my first, and that has stayed with me ever since. Go Pikachu! Off we go to our battle. Our first battle in five years, let's keep things tight. So we got Gandalf the Grey here, and he's going to use his Pikachu. Is it 2001? Level 12 Pikachu, wow. You've had it all these years and it's only level 12? That's a little bit bad, my friend. Uh, I'm hoping that Pikachu hasn't got static. Thunderbolt, ooh. Hit Flareon, hit Flareon, damn it. No! No! That sucks. Uh, let's go for uh, Teddy Ursa then. Pikachu is deadly. And yeah, one more bite, and then we'll just go for a Shadow Blitz. Oh, I'm fun about it does so much. I got paralyzed as well. Oh man, it's fine. Blitz should, or well, Blitz, uh, bite should finish it off. You are the greatest trainer. And now you suck. Oh, bravo. I say bravo. My goodness, it was a white hot experience, our battle. And to defeat my Pikachu. That takes real skill. Well, to be fair, your Pikachu wasn't that great anyway. <laughs> ah, this Pokemon is on the verge of opening his heart to you. You've done a good job looking after it. Now you should use the power of the Relic Stone to finally open that Shadow Pokemon's heart completely. All right, let's do this. Whoa, that's where it lights up first. Uh, let's get Teddy Ursa. Oh, I still got the purification music. The dun 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 dun. Got return. Nice. Refresh and 310 XP. Got a ribbon. Give a nickname. What should we call you? Uh. Okay, so I am gonna call you. Fazbear. I was gonna call you Freddy, but I thought Fazbear sounds a little bit better. If you know what that's from. Five points to you. Well done, that Pokemon has finally returned to its former self. For the time being, we should return to my house. But I want to purify Lady Bar as well. Ah, oh, this is a cause for celebration. You successfully purified your first Shadow Pokemon without incident. Still, one can't be too happy, not with the knowledge of Professor Crane's abduction. You see, he was a frequent visitor to Agate up to several years ago. He was conducting extensive research into the Relic Stone, you see. He said that if it was a com uh, for completing an entirely new purifying system that his friend fought up. Wonder where the kidnappers have made off with Professor Crane. It must be worrisome, uh, worrisome for you too. It is! About that abduction, dear. Didn't you need to mention what Vanda saw? Hmm, ah oh, yes, that's right, I need to tell you what Vanda. We have a friend by the name of Vanda who lives, in, uh, lives on Mount Battle, which is a place of training for trainers. Well, I guess where we're going to be heading next then. Mount Battle, yep. On a volcano. Which means we're going to be battling lots and lots and lots of trainers. Yep, you can have my PDA number, there you go. I think the, think, I think the first time you went to uh, Mount Battle on Pokemon Coliseum, you had to battle like 10 trainers in a row, uh, in a row, in a row. And then you get to uh, battle, oh, what was his name? Uh, the guy from Team Cypher, who had the Entei. You had to be really careful about catching the Entei though, because oh god, it would um, you had a Golem as well that would use Earthquake and kill the Entei. You had to be really quick about it. So we'll quickly head back to the Relic Stone and we will purify this Lady Bar. Can't do Puccina because I don't think it's fully done yet. 
I like how it lights up. Dun 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 dun! I love that sound so much. Okay, got side beam. Not bad. Refresh. Might actually keep this on the team, to be honest. Elevate to level 11. Good stuff, and you're gonna get a ribbon. And what should we nickname you? Um. Okay, so I was looking around. I was trying to think, what does it like? Aledian's uh, head look like? And for some reason, I thought of Metabots, and I thought of <laughs> Metabi from Metabots. It was a really good good show back in the day. Is it yeah? Or do I want um, Rakusho? Ah, uh, no, I'll go for Rakusho. I think that's better. So we'll go, because I think it suits him a bit more. Uh, how do you spell it? I'm pretty sure it's spelled R-O-K-U-S-H-O. Kusho. Kusho, yeah, that's right. Pretty sure. And done. Rakusho. Then I just thought the head kind of reminded me of it, so I had to nickname it that. And Puccino, I don't think, is just there yet. Almost. So what we have to do next is head to Mount Battle. I have a feeling probably Cypher is going to be. Got to battle Cypher, probably going to take over the Mount Battle again. So far, the um, I mean, I'm enjoying this game quite a lot. I think it's pretty good so far, but the story feels a bit like Colosseums a lot so far. Well, just the fact, like, I guess, um, the way it's done, like, purifying a Pokemon and just whatnot. But I guess it'll probably pick up a bit later on, or further in the game. But I'm going to end this part right here, and next episode we will head to Mount Battle. So thank you guys for watching, have a great day, peace.